there's a wheelchair ramp. Mm-hmm. Well, how did that happen? I, uh, had it installed. And I had a few other changes made inside so you could get around easier in your wheelchair. Ethan, this... This is wonderful. It's okay, it's okay. I just, I just wanted to make it easy for you to take care of the baby and then little I... Ethan, in case he may come visit, you know, until you're up and around. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, sweetheart, look, look, you see what your daddy has done for us? <gasps> what good care he takes of us? Yes, isn't he the best daddy in the whole world? <gasps> yes, he is. What is it? What's wrong? You didn't do that for me. You did that because you want something from me. Teresa, what are you I'm talking I'm never going to be up and around because of Gwen. She put me in this wheelchair and you still want me to drop the charges against her. It's okay, sweetheart. That's why you did this. Because you want me to drop the charges against Gwen. Yeah, I do want you to drop the charges, How but this has not... How can you ask me to do that, Ethan? Gwen stabbed me in the back with a scalpel two times. She put me in this wheelchair. I am paralyzed because of her. Teresa, I know this, but remember, she was out of her mind when she did it, when she found out that this little baby wasn't hers, okay? It was her last chance to have a child. You remember that, Yeah, right? and that gives her the right to do this to no, me? No, it doesn't give her the right. But when her mind has snapped like that, she can't be held responsible for what she did. Oh, I intend to hold her responsible. I want to see her put away forever. All right, I don't believe that. Do you have any pity? Any pity for her at all? Yes, Ethan. I feel pity. I would have given anything to deliver both babies. Gwen's implanted embryo and and mine, but the doctor said that I couldn't carry both babies to term, that I had to have the procedure, that I had to sacrifice one of them in order to save the other. I didn't want to do it, remember? But you and Gwen begged me to do it, so I did. I left it up to God, I left it up to the doctors, and the one who survived was our daughter, and, Ethan. And, and I thank God for then her every day. Then why do you think that you can bribe me into dropping the charges against Gwen? Teresa, I'm not trying... Okay, I'm, I'm not bribing you. I had the ramp installed, I had the changes made inside the house because I... I just want to help you take care of the baby. That's it. Oh, thanks. It's okay. Just calm down. You know what? I hope it's true because I did not get rid of it, Ethan. I don't want it. Take it out. All right. Listen. Now. Listen. You're being ridiculous. Please, right? just get rid of it, Ethan. Because I'm not going to change my mind. I'm not going to drop my charges against Gwen. It's okay, sweetheart. Listen to me. You are getting excited over nothing. I just... <laughs> I wanted to make your life easier. It's hard enough to take care of an infant without being in a wheelchair, Teresa. I just want to help you take care of her. Really? Really. Oh. Mommy! Hey. Sweetheart! Oh, my goodness! I am so happy to see you. Me too, Mom. You arranged to have my son brought to me. Yes, I did. Just for a visit. Maybe we'll spend the night, I don't know. Spend the night? Spend the night? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Ethan, so much. You're welcome. Is this my baby sister? Yes, yeah. this is. Yes, look. You want to meet her? Look at her face. Did you see her? Oh, my God, <laughs> isn't she beautiful? Uh-huh, uh-huh. She's kind of little. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Well, she is, yes, but you know what? Oh, honey. Shh, shh. You were once this tiny, too. Did you know that? No. Should we go have some hot chocolate now? Yes. Yes, you can have some hot chocolate. Oh. Oh. If you don't think you'll need me, I'll be going. I'm sure we'll be fine. Thanks, Miss Rogers. Thanks for bringing my son to me. Thank you for everything that you've done. Just stay now. It's okay. Teresa, will you ever stop hating Gwen? Will you ever forgive her so she can be set free? Or are you going to force my wife to spend the rest of her life behind bars? Look, Mommy. Oh. Well, look at that. It's a special changing table for the baby. It's low enough for me to change our daughter while mm -hmm. I'm in the chair. Thank you. Can I have a ride in your chair, Mommy? All right, in my chair. Absolutely. Uh -oh. 
I both take the baby. Thank you. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Yeah, sure, you know. All Thank right, you. of course. My pleasure. Come on. Carefully. There we go. Okay. Now hold on tight, because this. Not too fast in here, okay? Oh, you know, I don't know about that. What do you think? Watch out for turn. <laughs> Watch the couch. I'm going to get better, I promise. What do you think? Is this fun? Yeah. Kind of? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to take care of my son or our daughter. Now I'm beginning to have hope. I think we're going to be just fine. Done. <laughs> That's quick. Well, this is wonderful. To be at home with our daughter and my son. I think I'm going to be able to manage now. Thanks to everything that you've done. I never had any doubt that you would be able to take care of them. Besides, I think this condition of yours, I think it's temporary. The doctors just said it would take some time for you to regain the use of your legs, that's all. Well, they also said that the longer I go without improvement, the more likely that it's permanent. Hey, hey it's, it's, it's all a matter of whether you want to look at the glass half full or half empty. Is that what you think I'm doing? Looking at the glass like it's half empty? No, I don't think so. Not you. Teresa, the eternal optimist. Come on, you always think that things are going to work out the best for you, no matter how bad the odds are stacked against you. Mm. Well, I just believe that fate is going to make it all turn out right for me. If I didn't believe in that, I think that, well, I would be completely lost. Well, whatever it is that keeps you going, in spite of everything, it's a good thing. It's good for you children to see that their mommy has a bright, happy future ahead of her. I want to see that bright future. I want the chance to be the best mother in the world. You are a wonderful mother. Wonderful. I just hope I can be half as good a father. You will be, Ethan. And together we are going to make sure that our daughter has the perfect childhood. And we're off. Someone's unhappy. spend the rest of his life with me, and Gwen will spend the rest of her life in jail. That's right. 